church. Good morning. I'd like to give honor to Pastor Blankenship and Pastor Memory for the opportunity to be up here this morning. I'd like to give honor to Pastor uh, Brother Grimsley and his family. Bear with me, I'm nervous. Okay? Always a pleasure to have you here, Brother Grimsley, and your family. Sister Grimsley, thank you. Uh, if you could pull up Psalms 14 and 2 for me. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and see God. I'm here today before you because I was looking for some answers, seeking answers, and I did not know where to go. I went to many places looking for my answers, many churches, soothsayers, but I could not find the answer I was looking for. I did not have a clue what I was looking for, but I knew the places I went, the answer wasn't there. You know, many searches, couldn't find. But I listened to a little voice in my head that led me to Norfolk Apostolic Church. And the moment I walked through that door, the moment I walked through that door, I felt it. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know I was supposed to feel. I never felt it before, but I knew it was the answer that I was looking for. Everyone be seated, please, sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm so sorry, very nervous. <laughs> Uh, just bear with me. I'm only going to be up here for about two minutes. <laughs> yes. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. When I was looking for my answers, I didn't understand the word of God. I didn't know where to look and what to look for. I knew the Bible was there, but it was just a book I read. Didn't have the understanding of it until I met your pastor, Pastor Blankenship, which is my pastor. You know, he clarified some things for me in the Bible. And every time I walk into this house, the feeling I get, I have to come back. Because the feeling I got the first day never left. It's always here. It's always going to be here. So whenever you don't feel that feeling, search somewhere deep inside of you. Because the feeling has never left. He doesn't leave this house. He's always here. Okay? Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. When we seek God, we seek him for many things. I've sought God for many things before, and I could not figure it out. But usually when I come to church, the answer or the confirmation does come over the pulpit. He speaks to us in many ways, dreams, visions, but most often over the pulpit through the man of God. So we need to listen to the pulpit, church. I have a question for the church today. When you seek God for your answers, and he answers you with an answer that you did not expect, are you going to be ready? Will you be willing, willing to do what he's asking you to do, or he's telling you to do? Because God does not think in our little box, you know? Isaiah 55 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So church, we understand. The word tells us that God thinks higher than we do. Okay? We have our little box that we think in, but God is way out of that box. Okay? He has that box in his hand. So what we're thinking is good for us. He already knows what's good for us. Okay? Proverbs 3 and 6. In all we do, acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. It didn't say when you need a healing, acknowledge him. It didn't say when you need a financial blessing, acknowledge him. It didn't say when you need to pass your finals, acknowledge him. It said, in all you do, acknowledge him. That means everything in your life, acknowledge the Lord, and he will guide your path. I have another question. Is your lifestyle ready for God? Be blessed, church.